Traditionally thrown in the deep fry with little regard for one's own safety, buffalo wings are the ultimate party pleaser. All that is required is your hands, and making an absolute mess is not an essential, it is a universal requirement. Pro tip, don't deep fry in shorts, sandals and a singlet, unless you're particularly fond of third degree burns and homemade brands. Now, we don't own a deep fry. In a previous life, we did. As students, the idea of paying 50 cents for a huge bowl of french fries was irresistible. There was one issue. Besides the flat smelling like your local Kentucky Fried Chicken, we both gained 10 kilograms. Suffice to say, we promptly got rid of the frying apparatus. It is for this reason that we will attempt to make great buffalo wings using the humble oven. One potential issue that can arise is the chicken meat drying out. Deep frying, on the other hand, achieves a tender interior and crispy exterior. Fortunately, as if the universe had designed the chicken with the specific purpose of being cooked and lathered in buffalo sauce, wings have a high fat to meat ratio, meaning they almost self baste and crispen during the roasting process. The key to making ultra crispy oven roasted wings is coating them in a mixture of baking powder, not baking soda, please, salt and spice. Baking powder, you exclaim? Prepare for your daily dose of salts. Baking powder raises the pH level of the chicken, allowing the peptide bonds on the skin to break down, meaning the skin will get more crisp and golden brown. Outrageous, I know, and I only just learned this recently, but trust us. There is only two accompaniments to wings, a bowl of homemade blue cheese sauce and celery sticks. Being the heat freaks that we are, the blue cheese sauce acts like an extinguishing agent for your mouth. Celery sticks to decimate the remaining sauce after all the wings have been polished. Now, on to the recipe. Firstly, preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius. We will be increasing the temperature halfway through the cook. If you purchase your wings whole, you can either leave them as is or cut into nibbles. Cutting into the nibbles allows for far more sauce coverage. On the other hand, leaving them whole requires far less effort. It really depends on your current level of enthusiasm or how many cups of adult juice you've consumed. In a large mixing bowl or plastic ziplock bag, toss in the wings, then Sprinkle one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix thoroughly to ensure the wings are completely coated in the dry ingredients. Place the wings on a wire rack, which is surrounded by a tray, to catch the fat drippings. Unfortunately, due to moving houses recently, I couldn't find us. Place the wings in a single layer, and although best of friends, don't allow the wings to touch. This will result in soft or soggy areas of the skin. Place the rack in the oven for 25 minutes. By cooking the wings at a lower temperature initially, we dry out the skin and allow for the baking powder to work its magic. While the wings cook, Prepare the blue cheese sauce. Blend together one third of a cup of sour cream, one third of a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of blue cheese, and one half a teaspoon of minced garlic, plus a squeeze of lemon. Once mixed, place in the fridge until the wings are ready. After 25 minutes, raise the oven temperature to 220 degrees Celsius and cook the wings for a further 25 minutes or until crispy, golden brown and cooked through. Remove wings from the oven and allow to rest for 5 to 10 minutes. After resting, place in a high side bowl and toss in your favourite buffalo wing sauce. Be sure to splash your new set of threads with sauce. Should you not have a ready-made buffalo sauce, don't fret. In a saucepan of a medium heat, 
Mix equal portions of hot sauce and butter until homogenous. Using such a comically small pair of tongs is just asking for trouble. Serve the wings alongside the blue cheese sauce and sticks of celery. This was quite a simple one, but trust us, you'll love it. Enjoy.